In this video, I'm gonna go over a not so common fault with this three gigahertz generator. I worked on quite a few of them and this is actually one of the first time I actually seen a fault in the synth module. Normally the fault's in the 1.5 and the three gigahertz module, which this one did have because it was outputting absolutely no signal. And pretty much all the HP 04 broadband amplifiers in the 1.5 gigahertz modules were bad. So I had to replace them and that fixed that. But the fault I'm gonna be talking about was the ALC level error that was only happening between nine megahertz and 49 megahertz and everything else worked fine. Now what made me find the fault was uh, after a few days of looking through a service manual, which was no help because it tells you place the switch, it tells you look at the mixer, it tells you go ahead and do a bunch of things, but that clearly wasn't the fault because all the voltages were checking out and everything else on the 1.5 gigahertz module. And I just got done rebuilding. I even replaced the tent to line capacitors and all that in that module, which was quite expensive. But I knew there was no problem with the 1.5 and 3 gigahertz module. But what kind of led me to the problem was I just hooked up a spectrum analyzer to this output right here, which comes out the synth module. And I noticed there was a lot of harmonics that wasn't supposed to be there. And I noticed also, too that there wasn't a lot of gain on there. So that's what made me kind of opened up the synth module. And sure enough, there was another HP-05, but yep, it fixed it. It is pretty much perfect now. You know, I could go in there and you can see, yes, that fixed. And I could go to, of course, 100. And you know, there's absolutely no problem now. Now, the reason why I'm doing a video on this is because it's not such a common problem with these. Normally, the problem is in the 3 and 1.5 gigahertz module, not in the synth module. So, let me go and turn this off because I don't want to overheat it after I just got done fixing it. But I'll go ahead and show you exactly the part that I had to replace to get this thing working pretty much. Here's the synthesizer. And the part that failed which this part don't surprise me, is right there. That's the part that was causing the AOC level error between nine megahertz and 49 megahertz. Once I replaced that, of course the gain came back up, the harmonics dropped down, and it started working properly. Here you go, we'll go and look to, so I can show you the rest of the synthesizer module. But yeah. There's actually one of those AO4 broadband amplifiers right at the output right there. So if you do have that problem, replace that. And one thing to note, when you're dealing with RF gaskets and stuff like that, you always want to use a torque limiting screwdriver and pretty much torque them, you know, almost like you would a head gasket or a head on a car where you go from the middle and side so that way it's evenly flattens on the thing and it sits nicely so that's what i'm gonna go do the torque i got set is three inch pounds and i'm gonna go and put all the screws back on there and there you go man finally fully functional and i already tested all levels and stuff with the power meter and spectrum analyzer and the harmonics are much lower now and the signal of course as you can see looks really nice so yeah, it was the synth module, the module I did not suspect. Yeah, here you go, we'll go 100 megahertz, one gigahertz. Mm. Of course, the scope is hitting the 3 dB bandwidth, but yeah, you can see there. Let's just go 500 megahertz. Yeah, she's beautiful. If I go 100 megahertz, it should be yeah looking really good and it works in now uh, all the ranges <laughs> yes um of course five megahertz one megahertz no more alc error and yeah i had this thing running for quite some time already so that definitely fixed the problem you know what i mean i'm actually very happy because i put a lot of money into this thing originally the signal generator only cost me 200 bucks but I had to put a new display and EMI glass on it, which I took out of CMD80, which cost me 300 bucks. 
I also had to rebuild the power supply, redo the three and six gigahertz module, because originally when I got it, it was outputting no signal and it was had like calibration and everything error. Also had to change the um, front panel battery and change a few tantum line capacitors and stuff like that. But she's fully operational. The low frequency generators work because there's two of them in this one. This one's optioned out by the way. Pulse generator works, modulation works. So I'm quite happy and we'll go and turn on modulation. And yeah, you can see there it's working. So this concludes the video. And there you go, I went ahead and put it more reasonable and you can see EM modulation working, FM works, pulse works. It's working really good. So this is my new signal generator. I do have to go ahead and do a final pre, um, you know, the preset level adjustment and also the leveling and stuff like that, which I'll probably do next. I wanna let it warm up for three hours before I do the full calibration, but it's actually pretty dead on, it's bang on. So if I turn off modulation, you can see there, that's what I would expect in hooking it up to a counter and stuff like that. It's dead on frequency, so. Yeah, she's 100% now and I'm glad for that because I wasn't sure that this one was gonna work out. I was almost about to give up on it. But I decided, you know something, let me go and trace the signal path and see where you know it's weaker than it's supposed to be. And sure enough, seen a lot of harmonics and noise and <laughs> low gain well it pointed to the synthesizer so i took the synthesizer apart and right at the output i saw one of those ao4s and i already knew that was the problem and yep that fixed it